comes. Welcome to another fresh episode of TOMZ, your coolest science and technology show. Konarago SABC One Mzanti for show. You know what time it is? It's 4 p.m. That's right. Let's go ahead and run more. Tom Zarata, who is the coolest science and technology that's happening right here in Mzanti, Africa. But today, we want to learn all about aerosol cans. Uh -huh, that's right, Gamzoz. Aerosol cans are seven years into any ezining. Are seven years insect repellents, deodorants, spray painting, and even suatologuma medicines. But what is aerosol? And I'm a Kenzo Kona, a seven Zaganjan and a Yen Zoganjan. So now I can twist the big little charlatan on us today. More than on Larna Lakacheco, but we are also going to be talking to some cool South Africans. But the Rubel Langhor, the aerosol cans, Tona, this is a bit as wrong. You will have to do the Lordnell environmental impact as wrong on our environment. Aha, right now, join us as we discover this on today's episode. Learn all about aerosols, aerosol cans, and the Hortona, this is a bit as wrong. So I'm a little now to check out a graffiti artist to see how he uses spray cans to paint his world. Find out what kind of impact aerosols have on the environment. Read to the horror the aerosol cans by the Etajuang right here in South Africa. It took the kind of history of aerosol cans. Get some cool graffiti applications for your smartphone. And stay tuned for words of wisdom from our guest on today's show. When I was talking about the aerosol cans before, I was talking about the aerosol cans before. I was talking about the aerosol cans before. I was talking about the What exactly is an aerosol? And I was talking about the aerosol cans before. I was talking about the aerosol cans before. Aerosol key for this body spray, you know, room freshener. For your hair spray. A toilet, I must spray, I was a toilet. Anything actually that you just want to spray on. I think it works like that. They put in whatever um, mixture they have to put inside the can and then you just shake it up and use it. I think they keep the pressure within the content and then when you spray it, yeah, really say something like that. Yeah, they do have a negative effect on our environment. Like air pollution and the ozone layer. I believe they just put the paint in the can with some water, just so it's, you know, smooth nyana. Then they spray. If I forget spray, let's not put my can lao, and then I spray on the walls and my boards. Yeah. Spray painting is a painting technique that uses a device like a spray can to apply a coat of paint through the air onto the surface. I'm a graffiti artist, a seven is a technique learner to decorate and paint our streets in all kinds of artwork. the different things they can create. So check it a local graffiti artist through the streets of Josie Hobana Horiona by Yetajuang. Konamanje, check this out. Uh, and yeah, I'm a graffiti artist. to graffiti art, so check it out. Well, I am a and usually that's how you should start. light, and then you check your sketch circle and just when the show is on, you can see and sevens are from light to dark to the darkest color on the Ah, if only you put a sketch some, so you scan it and as far as only. Yes, I'm a paper. Sometimes I am more share a So, yes, digital age. When it's a phone, the special paint that we use and it's called Montana. Um, you know, in the beginning, the Spanish had spray on and it was like uh, hard hardware paint. And the hardware paint, the quality was not the best, you know. So, uh, you know, we ended up uh, finding an import from Italy and they basically produce paint for graffiti artists. So the quality, I think, is better. Plus, the colors, I think, they range. Our color range from from a green to a darker green, a light green. So I'm a shade, my name, you know. My name is a character from a sketch. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say. So with graffiti, um, the creativity is it's open for whatever. Whatever of the way ends, you can go ahead and spread. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, so seven is Sanje, Amakala, Amashanu, with five colors in Jonga, into 
Yisanga and Jibe Sharp. I'm a I'm a Ken now. I'm a Costa. So if if Ufunu Penda wins the show, to yeah, save her, save him at least captain and just yeah. About five colors, you can do a pretty cool piece. Montana paint, yonke, yenzu, ngokfan. The ingredient is the same. Um, it's it's just good quality paint. I uh, from, you know, ama uh, acrylic or ama oil paint. It's actually very close to using oil oil or acrylic paint. Uh, it's except it's only it's put into e kenye. So melo we plug and is a machine wire. And then machine wire was to change our pend while I tell her and then I spray her. So um yeah, it's we engine in a hardware. Mel we connect with sevens. I'm a can so our sevens is and freehand. Um my practice are cool, we are zuba. You know, very confident to go to my sprayer, my seven ZC, a chalk or a pencil look to work by the one. An aerosol can can be a fine mist of either liquid, carpeted particles, steady and it's a solid that is widely and evenly spread throughout gas. Clouds, fog, and the steam from a kettle are examples of aerosols. Governing to another end, we got droplets that may be spread through the air. An aerosol can is a mechanism that turns a liquid it's one lip and take up a polichi into a fine mist. These cans contain two substances: the liquid product and a pressurized gas. If it's on the propellant, it will now use a hole to push the liquid product out into the air. The valve underneath the button of the tank to release the spray has a spring that stops it from staying permanently open. In finding how push a button against the spring, the valve opens, allowing the contents to escape. How release the button, the spring pops back up, closing the valve and making sure that the contents are not going to be able Later on, we'll show you the final piece of the book. But first, as I'm going to tell you about these aerosol cans, we'll see you in the next Harakuta, we discover the environmental impact of aerosols. We talk to the aerosol cans, but yet are strong, and we get to see some more amazing graffiti. Tums. Tums. Untasha Belete, TOMZ, Rats, and SABC One. I'm Zain Tepasha with myself, Gamu, and my buddy, Kadi. Aha, and I'm sure it's fun to go back to the mechanism that most of us use each and every day. Unkuruma is about to smile a little bit nicer, to shave or to do our hair, to keep bugs out of our homes, or to just spray paint. Yes, we're discovering the cool signs of aerosol cans. The aerosol cans are not only the ones that are used in our homes. They are the ones that are used in our homes. They are the ones that are used in our homes. They are the ones that are used in our homes. This is the first time I've ever seen from a macrofiti artists who actually use spray paint cans to have the bar yenza limes and so to log about the summer aerosol cans are yini and so on jani no good as it is again so take a look at what's coming up next learn about the environmental impact of aerosols ribbon hold the aerosol cans body manufacturers run in them zanzi and check out some amazing graffiti Group ready compounds if women on Kamohara aerosol technology can end it damage the ozone layer of planet the Arona. The compounds then are the chlorofluorocarbons, Kappa CFC for short. And for more than a century, Tona Kenadin said this Sebedi Sahahulu Kamara the propellant, the Ridu Fumalan Kamohara, the aerosol can. So take a look. Ozone layer ya mole fatting absorb ultraviolet radiation it's on kwele tsatsing it's related to all living things on our planet from the harmful effects of such radiation if the ozone layer would cease to exist so would life on earth a chlorofluorocarbon is a compound a containing only carbon chlorine and fluorine they were widely used in refrigerants aerosol propellants and solvents until montreal protocol elabena the use of cfc's due to its damaging effect on our ozone layer CFCs diffuse into the stratosphere and exposed to the intense solar radiation, they decompose and release their chlorine atoms. These atoms then break the ozone down, causing the depletion of our ozone layer. CFCs have been banned in most countries since the 1980s because of their harmful effects on the ozone layer. So what propellants are they using right now? And are these safer for the environment? Rachakete, a aerosol can manufacturing company who took a hold of the cancer by the Tajwang, who did not in Kamohari, nor by the Zagatila to think Horosona Discalimata environment. So take a look. Hi, my name is Byron Muir. Um, you're at my company, Aerotronic, where we blend chemicals and fill aerosol cans. We're using a propane butane blend, which is CFC free. Um, majority of your aerosols are now filled with that. Um, many of them are also filled with CO2, which is also CFC free. So that's what most of the CFCs have been taken out, so you can't use them anymore, can't get them. 
Olbitula kaki se awonga. Sumetu akakueta the aerosol can, the spray. Tali koloi. Kia can akaya peli skyliting. E empty. Aina nixe. Aina labela. Aina aya brandio. So to eta langurking. Refila producti huyona ya dashboard polish. Ki chemical ya road. Marari tati ufitela mo ne kwa na kopa na lichas. Ito wa expand like ito pressure to banga ta mo arak chilila. So no ya kala processa rona ya ufila the aerosol. So you can see the product here, it's not a port for the dashboard. The majority of the products are going to be able to get it. You can see the weight of the product, the right amount of weight, 120 grams of chemical in Kenya. Okay, you can see the team here, the empty, and the next one. So how do you start the product? 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 I'm going to use one product filler. Okay, reset, and then I start. I'm going to start the product. Product ya tela kama hari, wealth ya kena kia ya shuta wealth, ike na kama haram haken. Product kama hari sharp, ya krimpa, dita makali banta kiloto la kama. No chwe tala kia kenya, ina ni product i, ina ni wealth kama hari, ina ni sharp kama hari. And we get it right, 120 grams. So ana case, I never follow prayer, usna kasi kama hari. So we are going to go to the panel and we are going to go to the case. We are going to go to the case and we are going to go to the case. So we are going to go to the room and we are going to go to the room. Once again, don't spray around fires. Most of the safety tips are put on the aerosol can. Do not leave an aerosol can where it's going to be exposed to high temperatures and heat. Yeah, and keep it away from fires. Okay. We are going to go to the case and we are going to go to the case. So as you can see, no I do not spray, I do not have to come hard. So come room here, it's like a case. It's a little CB40 case. It's a flammable case. Okay? Keep it. It's a little bit more than a little spray. Yes, I'm here. You can have a machine here. Machine here, it's like a case. Before, I do not have to spray. Here, I spray. I say to the case, here, I spray. I'm not going to spray. I'm not going to spray. I'm not going to spray. Yes, for spray are not really ready. You should take a sequelana, the label at it. Okay. Come on, room A, come on, Ella Telang. Check on the scale, let's check on each and every can. Wait at it, we're right in a. Then, banana bottles, Kenya, the label, the cap is at it. That's the test for spray. You used to like it, it's upsetting. 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 You used to like it, Kepe wa manaki plastic ine, ene itlo hu, itlo hu mel tane, deso iki di kepe lam. Kora usemeta uska anga advance juhu usemeta ka ka keri you know, usale juhu ube more carefully ene make sure uga misemeta uwa uwa gatenga uska vile njoa uwa semeta for just you know, more carefully hold up because of uwa bana hadi kena kwa loko labeli mejiri, usale juhu kena one by one ni uhu di kono labeli, hadi kwa tadi sama hadi ni soka streamline ni hau ne to labeli. They are recyclable. There's, there's quite a drive from the AMA uh, to recycle aerosol cans. However, the, the hazard is that they have got flammable gases in them. Um, but a lot of the recycling centers have um, are being in, informed about the to recycle, the, recycle them safely. <laughs> Then, Lan and Serenda, Ustern and Sinin of Labu. Let me speak, I speak, I let you see Labu roll, lies to me. Then, is on candy is on Ganala, Lo Labu, Lenis of Pumalana, then Bethel, I speak a canning John of Bubonic and Eliza, the Pume, I can be nice to land. Better than Utati can Lelo Ulfa, I wish him crapping, little thing crapper, he plastic, so that Malbear and Halo and Alive easy for when Linga fall it down, good to be pulled. Better I can hear to my complete inch. It completes my gang. One of the cool things you can create with an aerosol can is spray painting. I'm a graffiti artist while I'm Zanti have proven to us that aerosol spray paint can create amazing artwork. Do you guys know your Mzanti legends? If not, bigala. I know graffiti, but I don't know any artist. Yeah, and the mass in a tabs. Which is tabs. I'm just familiar with graffiti, but I'm not I'm not very familiar with the artist. Faith 47 is a South told South African street artist, Othala at Cape Town. She has received praise for Umseben's Wake, M. Klabeni Chigelele, and participated in gallery shows and projects worldwide. 
Umsebenzi wake ungatolwa in urban environments and townships in Mzansi as well as cities around the world. Her early work was inspired by the harsh realities of SA and the difference between the promises of life in a post-apartheid country versus the harsh realities of life for most South Africans. Her Freedom Charter project featured phrases from the Freedom Charter documents on streets in and around the city. Beguanya yama project Aya Mianza Waba famous. What a legendary South African. We share some cool graffiti applications with you and we find out what graffiti artist is doing. If you want to inspiration, you can you guys are still tuned in to TOMZ, your coolest science and technology show, Konalago SABC One, Mzansi for Show. Kaja kuri Twitter all about the science behind the aerosol technology. If you have a lot of people who are going to be able to do this, you Africa. Not only that, but we're also going to show you guys in Twisted Makata until Kadia Tankaton. Aha, and I'm telling you, we're following one of our graffiti artists, Wala Mzansi, who wants to go to the end of spray cans to create the coolest street art. Katan Nakata, we've got our social session that's going to be coming up much later on, so let us see the comment it's Alona and your tweet and who knows we might just be chatting to you. Before we go into that, as born in Gutis in Patelini, Ogland Life. Find out how the idea of the aerosol can was born. Discover what inspired graffiti artists and get some cool graffiti applications for your smartphone. Me now good to the concept of the aerosol can started with a cool drink. Let's wind back the clock with Tolaga Bands with Silentale Italiganja. The idea of an aerosol can originated back in 1790 when self pressurized carbonated beverages were introduced in France. Where 1837, 47 years later, the soda siphon was invented, incorporating a valve. Ama metal spray cans were being tested in 1862. Near 23 November 1927, Norwegian engineer U Eric Grothian patented the first aerosol can and valve. During World War II, the US government funded e research for Amasosha to keep disease carrying bugs away, and an aerosol can. And pressurized by liquid gas was designed Ugenza Logo Mo. Let design made Ama Hespray Namanyama products possible and was introduced to the public in 1947. Two years later, the first canned spray paint was invented and the rest in Jemo Babesho is history. Not only that, inspiration hayena we So take a look, aspiring artists. Yeah, graffiti. At this point, say say to me, Leon Kindao, uh, sis Nama magazine manager, as Bonisa, Yon Kindao, like South Africa, on a trolley graffiti, Nasema training in the corner. Um, yeah, so it, graffiti is very big in South Africa now, and if, if my history is correct, yeah, in Cape Town, they actually first started getting the better quality at and uh, the Montana Gold. Like I like Cape Town, and then because around the country, Leba Nababang, Leba Setsavarata, Graffiti, Basimula Leba Navareka Pente, and the, the first legends in South Africa, Bochoja, you know, and the movement from Cape Town, they actually started doing graffiti as an as a actual profession. And Anako area, uh, there was a demand for a better quality, and already. It was already being produced overseas. If you want to see whether you've got what it takes to be a graffiti artist, got or you don't want to breathe in ama paint fumes and put your phone by inking in nomteto, then why not try out an app a phone in Yaku? The graffiti spray can app in ama feature amaning to test out whether you've got the skills. From handwritten font and signature stencil tools to high definition backgrounds, color wheels, and a full featured music player, the app is really cool. And you can show your work with the app's global community, Noma, on your social media pages. Want to see how your graffiti designs will look on trucks and trains? The Graffiti Unlimited app allows you to do just that. Usaben sa ama video ne Tomezang Mpela. For more info, valashele go www.toms.co.za and follow the links. So guys, cut the corner of a fair to kind of like TOMZ. It's social session time. We reach out to you guys via our social media. I've got Alicia on Twitter saying she loves watching the show and she thinks Dee is a real role model to all the young South African girls. Oh my goodness, Alicia. That is such a nice thing of you to say thank you. What about me, Mara? Thank you very much, Alicia. Ah, uh, good right. Who do you have on Facebook? I have got Ujakes on Facebook saying he's crazy about e graffiti and Ufumbai artist Nyelinilang. Well, Jakes, that is awesome. When you have a dream, you need to believe in it, push it, and never give up. Yeah, go get it. It's all yours. 
I've got Mercy on Twitter, Otiana. She wants to send a shout out to all her friends watching TOMZ. And she thinks we are the coolest show on SABC One. Oh my goodness. Woo. Don't you just love all our fans? Thanks, Mercy Maganias, but fair to you guys actually make us look so cool. Without you guys, we ain't cool at all. At all. My friends is Niazgut is cut the corner. We have to get some words of wisdom from Mark Estuetu on today's episode. Check this out. Um Equinisweni is Colosse Cafita Seco. Um, no more I will be in the lands and Sasiko Cotta. Mong I school when particularly we agree at school, maybe a bazal Baku Baguisela, Ponga Funda, my principal we at who found in Jok seven the Samakala from just in Jay before seven the Sa E can seven the paintbrush and a pencil. Ponga Funda Lapo and then Utati in Fundo Yakas school when we apply a gui graffiti, Manga Bufuno Yenza. Um, so in case you need to use it, use for no reason, Zala. In Kota, yeah, it's up to us to practice and go to school. So, in terms of getting into this, uh, the two ways: if you're in the chemical industry, so to study uh, chemical engineering, or else um, through mechanical. That's that's the way I've got into it. I entered as a toolmaker. I did a trade, and um, through the trade, I've managed to learn to use these machines and run them. The other option is in-service training where you'll be trained on the job, uh, working at a company that is doing the blending chemicals and then filling aerosol cans. Hello, I'm going to information you how to get back to the world. I'm going to go to www.tomz.co.za and don't forget to keep socializing with us both on Twitter and on Facebook. Let's recap today's show. We followed Mzansi graffiti artist around to learn how he uses canned spray paint to create street art. We found out what aerosols are, look the aerosol cans, this is a bit we took a look at the environmental impact of CFCs in aerosol cans. We saw how aerosol cans are made in South Africa to make their products more eco-friendly. We celebrated Faith 47, one of SA's legendary female graffiti artists. We discovered how the idea of aerosol cans started out in Kakodrinki. We shared some cool graffiti applications with you guys and we got some great career advice from our guests on today's show. So if you want more information, go to www.tomz.co.za and don't forget to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. And that is a wrap from us, but fair to Nam Klan. You join us next time for some fresh science and technology show. We'll see you guys soon. Next time on Tom, we'll see you next time on Tom's. The Science of Heat. Find out how heaters are made, discover how heat works, if I really want some cool fire dancing. Tune in to Tom's every Monday and Tuesday at 4 p.m. only here on SABC1. Zanti for sure.